Yes. Greetings and salutations. Guys, we are here at FSP with a special breaking podcast. I got my left tackle with me. What are you there doing, you franchise? Go. Got your blind side, baby. Blind <laughs> side. Hey, Jeff, when I need you, you there, yeah. big dog. You got know what I'm saying? You, listen, you my left. Hey, listen, you know I'm right handed. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yes, what I'm saying. Yeah. I got you. No, nah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> but now nah, we're here to do some March Madness picks. What we're doing, going through March Madness picks for the first round, first game of 64. And on top of that, we are picking all upsets. We're picking the big upsets from each round. So here, after that 68 team tournament was released, we had 48 hours to come up with an upset for each region. Each region, right, Jeff? That's it. Yep. All right, let's kick things off with the West region. I think the West. We'll start with the West, right? Let's do it. Okay. All right, let's get it. What you got? Give me your upset and why. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I, I got New Mexico State over number five, UConn. 12-5. 12 five. Mexico State plays good defense. They got solid guard, guard play, and they got a great coach. Yeah. That's going to give UConn some trouble. UConn is a five seed, but I think it might be a little fool's goal. So I'm going I'm going New Mexico State. 12 over going to New Mexico State. Okay. Yeah. All right. My West region upset. Is Imani Bates playing? I haven't seen I haven't seen that yet. Have I seen we're a little early. We are recording this yeah. on Tuesday. Yeah. If Imani Bates is playing, they're gonna lose. <laughs> but I am under the assumption <laughs> that he's not playing. So in turn, <laughs> this is a mashup of two totally different aspects of the team. Every time Memphis has the ball, they turn over the damn ball. 23% of the time that they play basketball. On the offensive side of the ball, they're turning it over. That's true. I think if you add in Imani Bates in the middle of a season, right mm -hmm. in tournament time, it would have been yeah. a little bit different. But we're in the round of 64. Yeah. I got Memphis winning if Imani Bates does not play for sure. Did you know, did you know Memphis was a lock either way? <laughs> did you know See, that? that's your squad though? <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you. I see what's, I see what's going on. For sure. I'm just making sure you do that. Yeah. But uh, real right. quick. All right. So okay. if Imani Bates doesn't play. Okay. Well, I mean, if he does play. Yeah. Alabama. Watch Alabama. Alabama's Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. They, Rutgers has to win that game against Notre Dame. If Rutgers win, they have the pro players. Two things you worry about. That's true. Pro players. Yeah. They can win you a game. And an old ass team. Super duper yeah. teams. Super yeah. duper seniors. Super yeah. duper juniors. Oh, yeah. You can win some games with some old ass players. So, you're right. If Imani Bates plays, oh, man. they lose. Okay. So then you need another pick. So, if you figure right. out you need another pick, yeah. roll with Rutgers, but they have to beat Notre Dame for sure. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the South region. Give me your upset and why. South region, my upset is number 11, Michigan. They're going to upset Colorado State. Michigan, talent-wise, is one of the more talented teams in this tournament. I agree. They they have just underperformed. And I feel like if it's going to happen, well, of course, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen now, right? And I think right now with your coach coming back, getting, getting, your, getting your sea legs up under you, I'm going Michigan with the upset. Okay. My South region upset. Number seven seed, Ohio State, versus number 10 seed, Loyola, Chicago. Ohio that. State has lost its opening weekend in the last five NCAA tournaments, Jeff. Five. Yeah. And yeah. what do they have? Ohio State 100% has the pro player in EJ Liddell. But Loyola Chicago has the experience. So I'm yeah. rolling with Loyola Chicago in a 10-7 upset against Ohio State. For sure. And, and Loyola Chicago just makes a great story every year. So I'm with you. Yeah. Mr. Gene yeah. pulling up. You know what yeah, I'm man. Yeah, yeah. It's, I, want, I want that to go. Yeah, I'm with that. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the Midwest. Okay. Give me your pick for an upset and why. All right, this is easy. Iowa State at 11 seed over LSU. LSU is a complete utter chaos right now. And, and last thing they need to be worried about, last thing they're worried about is playing basketball. So they, give me Iowa State right now. Yeah, they already thinking about the portal. Yeah. yeah. They can't yeah. take care of the ball. They can't shoot. Mm -mm. This is the thing with Will Wade. Okay. They said, hey, if you're winning games, mm -hmm. we can deal with you cheating. You can't lose games and cheat. You yeah. got to be one or the other. Exactly. For sure. Yes, sir. Oh, man. 
All right. Do I? All right, here we go. Okay. I got two. All right. I'm just trying to decide which one I want to take. Number four, see Providence. Uh oh. Play like shit all year, up and down, up and down. Uh -huh. South Dakota State, 13 seed. They lead the country in three point percentage. That travels. Three point yeah. percentage travels. And they won 21 games in a row. They're used to the big games. Okay. Or do I do the three seed, Wisconsin Badgers, versus number 14 seed, Colgate? Man, I know. Wisconsin, Wisconsin's going to dub rule them, dude. Don't do that. <laughs> Everybody loves Johnny Davis in Wisconsin. I get that. That is the pro player that I'm talking about, right? Yeah. yeah. But, dude, Wisconsin lost their last two games. And, and okay. Johnny Davis got injured in one of those games. And here's the thing. Colgate beat Syracuse at Syracuse by 15. Okay. They ready. I'm going for it. I'm taking Colgate at 14 Sheesh. over Wisconsin, the three seed. Yeah. They're ready for the you, game, man. They, if you got a big win under your, under your belt already in the season, yeah. this is light work. You're going to look like a genius if that falls. I'm telling you that right there. Because yeah, nah. we, we leave it the easy one on the table, I think, but with the Miami over USC at 10-7. Mm -hmm. But uh -huh. if that falls, you look yeah. like a genius. Yeah, I'm yeah. with you on that. Yeah. I'm rolling with that one. Okay. <laughs> okay. And the last region, the East region. Yeah. Jeff, give me your upset pick and why. Virginia Tech, fresh off that ACC tournament win, they're going to beat Texas. They're going to beat Texas. 11, was it 11-5? Yeah, they're they going to yeah, beat 11, Texas. 11-6. Yeah, 11-6. Yeah, yeah. Listen. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> sir. That's a great one. Texas, Texas yeah. has been inconsistent all year, man. It just, especially against better opponents, too. True. And then Virginia Tech, I watched them beat us, right? Shout out to my Tarheels. I got their head on. Listen, yeah. Tar Heels, I saw them beat us, and I said, uh -huh. are Virginia finna win? They're going to beat Duke, too. You know, they're going to be – and I didn't want to sound like a hater because, you know, Duke and North Carolina. I get yeah. that. It's personal. But, dog, <laughs> those boys, they, what, guess what they got, Jeff? They got the pro Super oh. duper seniors. Yeah, that's true. It's yeah, a six-year guy on there, bro. <laughs> Anytime you see a guy, it's a six-year guy. <laughs> so, I'll let you that's roll true. with that. Yeah. But that's, that's a – hey, listen, that is in stone. Virginia Tech yeah. winning that game. Yeah. No need to worry about that. Yeah. I think Virginia Tech might win two games, but we'll, maybe we'll get to that another day for sure. Okay. All right, okay. here we go. Listen, my five seed, St. Mary's versus number 12 seed. They play the winner of Wyoming and Indiana. Yeah. Now listen, if Indiana beats Wyoming, they'll beat St. Mary's because Indiana like got it. the pro talent. I like Trace it. Jackson Davis. He's a pro. I like it. Yeah. But if Wyoming wins, St. Mary's going to beat their ass. So, <laughs> in turn... <laughs> We're a little early with the picks. You know what I'm saying? We, that's what we get. A little early. early with the picks. Early with the picks. So in turn, so listen to me, FSP listeners on uh -huh. YouTube. This is a YouTube exclusive. Yes, Listen. Sir. Listen to me. Watch this after the games and then go with your picks for Thursday. Sure. That's what it is. I feel good about my picks, though, Jeff. Yeah. What you talking about? I like that Virginia be? Tech pick that you got right there. That's that's A. Yeah. Jeff, you knew something right there. You knew a little something. I did my research, man. You know, I, I started watching college basketball a lot more doing this show. Yeah, but yeah. What your Tar Heels gonna do? <sighs> okay. As long as we ain't got to see Virginia Tech, we fine. Okay. Remember, <laughs> remember Zeke McCall? Remember <laughs> Zeke McCall told his wife, as long as I keep your ass in Gucci and Gold, we fine. As <laughs> long as Virginia Tech ain't there, we'll be fine, man, for sure. As long as we ain't got to see them. <laughs> got to see them. <laughs> Until next time, man. We appreciate everybody pulling up, man. Check us out, Full Sport Press, everywhere. Uh, we got some merch everywhere. Mm -hmm. Holler at us, Jeff. Anything you want to say to the people, man? Tell a friend to tell a friend. Mm -hmm. We got him right. And don't pick all chalk this year. Uh oh, pick some upsets, and that's why we're here. That's to pick why the upsets. Here. Sure. Here we go. We'll <laughs> Make sure you check us out on Anchor, iTunes, Facebook, Instagram, Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, Beyond Pod, YouTube, and of course the SoundCloud page to catch up on the full archive of past episodes of FSP. Just search Full Sport Press Podcast. The revolution will be podcasted.